With Stan Atkinson, Jennifer Whitney, meteorologist Tom Lachman, and John Hank with sports. This is KOBR 13 News at 6. Making a right out of a wrong. Today, real Navy Top Gun pilots visit Placer County Schools trying to heal the wounds left by an imposter. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The Navy helps to repair the damage left behind by a convicted child molester, a man who lied his way into area schools by posing as a Navy Top Gun pilot. But today, two real Top Gun pilots toured those affected schools. Thanks to KLVR 13 and reporter Tom Layson, who coordinated the appearance. Tom joins us now with this report you'll see only on KLVR 13. Tom. Well, Jennifer, first a little background on why this visit today was necessary. You'll remember it was 35-year-old Bruce Klotfelter who visited dozens of schools in the Roseville and Sacramento area posing as Commander Talon Fox. Turns out Klotfelter is from Citrus Heights, convicted of molesting three young boys back in 1989, released last year from jail. After school, the kids learned who Klotfelter was. Many were very upset, even ripping up Navy posters he had signed. So today, an effort to make things right. And let me tell you, it worked. We've patted them down, checked their IDs, gave them a saliva test, and they're okay. The first stop today, the Spanger School in Roseville. 254th, 5th, and 6th graders turned out to see Lieutenant Commander Boo Denity and Lieutenant Coach Rudy, both real F-14 pilots, both Top Gun instructors. You can see how heavy this stuff is. This is real heavy, isn't it? These top guns will visit six schools while in Northern California, focusing on those schools where Klotfelter spoke and gained some trust. And to have that blown away by a phony, uh, it's just very, very disappointing to them. So this has been a great experience, obviously, and uh, to thank you folks for making that happen. First thing my son said is, these are the real thing, they're not phony, and so I think this will be very encouraging. And the kids seem to well, hang on Boog and Coach's every down, word, asking questions so. and begging for autographs. I think that it's really good since these guys are caring enough to do this, and they seem a lot more real than the last guy did. It made me feel better knowing that they were real, not fake. Yes, this was good for the kids, and in many ways, for the pilots as well. I think a lot of it was uh, was nice because I feel that they as well felt maybe some closure on this, that, hey, these are the real people, and I think that they enjoyed seeing the real McCoy up there, vice uh, someone impersonating and deceiving them. The reason that I'm coming, obviously, is uh, to try to settle some things that happened that really shouldn't have happened, and uh, we just try to make the best of it. Mission accomplished. That's right, mission accomplished. All in all, it was a great day for the kids and the pilots. Meanwhile, the Placer County Office of Education has asked each school to review its security policy. At the Cobblestone School today, the pilots had their IDs checked, they had to sign in, they got visitors' badges, and they were escorted everywhere. That's policy for everybody now at that school. And as for Bruce Klotfelter, he's serving time in San Quentin. The Board of Prison Terms will determine when he'll get out in a hearing scheduled for next week. Jennifer? But as for those kids, sure is nice to make it right again. It is. All right, Tom Layson, thanks.